The RF100 Speed, it's the latest tool in the RF100 family. Can you tell me some more? Uh, yeah, sure. This is a, a new tool which we've developed. Um, in our industry, we have a lot of difficult to machine materials, uh, largely found in the uh, aerospace, medical, oil and gas industries, where we have uh, high alloyed materials such as Inconel and Titanium. So this tool was really developed um, to improve on the machining of the, such materials. And how has that been overcome? Uh, a few things that we've done uh, to the, uh, the cutter. Um, firstly, the increased helix angle, which is 48 degrees, together with the unequal helix, gives us a nice smooth operation. And if you're cutting smoother, that actually helps us to increase our feed rates and get a better tool life. But when you increase the helix angle to 48 degrees, that weakens the top of the tool traditionally. So how have you and overcome this? Yes, um, because of that very reason, it's a good question. Uh, we've had to change the end face geometry. And what we've done, we've given it a double protection. So on the outer corner, we've got a larger corner break. And also, we've lip corrected across the cutting edge. And this helps to actually stabilize the cutter. In addition to that, we've actually increased the width of the, the land angle, which helps to stabilize the cutter when we're slot milling, uh, ramping, and, and pocket milling. And the other thing that we've done is increase the, the gashing of the, the web thinning which uh, gives us more space for swarf evacuation. It's, it's a very user-friendly, universal tool. Is that where it's been aimed? Is that the demographic? Uh, it is a very universal tool. Um, it can be used for both slotting, um, roughing, uh, finishing, ramping, slotting. So yes, it, it suits uh, most applications. Sure. In the extra long tool here with the serrations or the chip breakers, Yep. That's to bury the tool, presumably, and just reduce the size of the chip. Exactly, yeah. If, uh, there are two uh, types of tool in, in the range. The, the shorter length, which is just the standard long series with a more conventional uh, cutting edge. But when we go to the longer series, this is, uh, can actually work up to three, four times uh, the diameter. We have introduced uh, a chip breaker. Now, this is predominantly done uh, when machining um, high performance cutting, eye machining where you're actually cutting over the full cut length. So with conventional uh, cutting edges, you get long chips, which are more difficult to evacuate from the pocket, uh, from the component. Uh, but with the chip breakers, you get a shorter chip, and it's easier to evacuate. A lot of manufacturers are looking to produce tools or re reduce the radial and increase the axial depth of cut. Is that what Gooing have done here? That's exactly it. Uh, I mean, this is an ideal tool for eye machining, high performance cutting. And what that means, in essence, is we're actually cutting over the full cut length of the tool up to the full cut length of the tool. So you have high axial depth of cut with a low radial depth of cut. But now we're working at high speeds and feeds, so we're achieving high metal removal rate. And that's what we need, isn't it? Produce lots of chips, remove it fast, make some money. Absolutely, yep. So just to summarise, why would an engineer choose to use an RF100 speed? Well, it's an ideal cutter for those difficult um, to machine materials, the, the high alloy materials, the inconels, titaniums, uh, for example. Uh, and to achieve this, we have the, the high helix cutter, uh, the unequal helix cutter, which enables us to uh, get smoother machining, improve uh, tool life. Um, and if we have smoother cutting, we can increase the feed rate and get better productivity.